In this video, I'm going to go over the new Solar 9 Message system that's been completely uh, redesigned uh, in the new Solar 9. So the first thing you may notice is at the top of your screen, you've got a new icon up there, and it will indicate how many unread messages you have. So I've got two unread messages in my message queue, and I can simply click on that, and it will take me straight into my message queue. Uh, so if you had a menu shortcut on your solar uh, desktop here, you could remove that to free up some space now, and it's a whole lot less clicks than it was before by going uh, through the menu structure to get to your message queue. So right now you can just come up to the top and click on the little message uh, icon. It'll take you straight there. Now the first thing I want to go over in the new message queue is the fact that your messages are now arranged in conversations. So you can see the conversations that you had back and forth with an individual, um, and which was is much more user friendly than it was before because previously it was not arranged that way. It's much more like an instant message system now. And to, to demonstrate that, I'll come down here and I'm going to choose one that I had a message going back and forth for. So anything that's in blue like this is what you sent. And then the gray down here is what the user sent back to you. So you can see that this was the message I first sent. Here's his reply, and then there's my reply back. You can also see from this screen uh, who the user is, whether or not they're online or not, and a, a picture of them if they uploaded a picture to the user's profile. Now, in this list view here, I want to show you how you can get rid of some uh, messages. So in this message here, you can obviously click on it and it's highlighted and come down to the bottom and hit delete conversation and it will delete that conversation. And then it'll ask you, do you want to confirm it? You hit yes. Now, uh, you can also, let's choose another one here. Uh, let's see, let's just go back to this one. You can also delete individual messages instead of deleting the entire conversation if you wanted to. So for example, you can see that I've got multiple messages here. So I can click on that one message and highlight it and right click and hit delete select the message and it will get rid of the, just that one message and not the entire conversation. Now you can also select multiple conversations at once to clean up your list if you if you need to. So I clicked on this first one from the report phantom and then I can hold down the control button and select multiple ones. And if I mistakenly click on one, I can just click on it and continue to hold the control uh, button down and you can just click on all the ones that you want to. So let's say for example I want to delete uh, these three right here. So I've got those three selected. Now I can hit delete selected conversations and it gets rid of all those. All right, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to show you how to send a new message. Now, you still have your button up here to create a new message. You could hit file and hit new to create a new message, but you also have a new button down in the bottom right hand corner to create a new message as well. So I can click on new message and then you get this new message uh, screen uh, that pops up. Now I really like this because it does a couple of things. One, it allows you to easily uh, add multiple people uh, to the uh, to the list of uh, individuals that you want to send the message to. So I'm going to type in a name and press enter and it shows you if the user's online or not. And then I'm going to type in another name and choose them and you can see that both of them appear. You can also type in a message group like all Danville and it will bring that up and the message group will never say online because it consists of multiple people. If you're not sure what a, the message group is, you can just type in all and press enter, and you can see all the different message groups that we have. Most of all of them um, start with all for all the different branches and, and uh, departments we have. Now notice that it says one of 20 of 39, so it's only showing you the first 20, and you have to hit more to list the rest of them. And you can also uh, simply click on the drop down, but then you're going to have a whole lot of search story. So if you don't know what you're looking for or you have an idea and you're not sure uh, what the name of it is, 
you can just click on the drop down and it will show you everything that you can send to everybody and every message group that you can send a message to. So, and by the way, if you add somebody by mistake, you can just click on that row, right click and hit delete row and it will remove it. So right here, I'm just going to hit OK. And the other nice thing is it will show you all the individuals that you have uh, in your message uh, list to send the message to. So you can see I got both Tara and Andrew in here, they're both online. So I know when I send this message to them, they'll, they'll get it. And all the individuals that are a part of this group message will see the responses back and forth. So if I send a message and then Andrew replies, then Tara will see my, both my response and Andrew's as well. So that's another nice, really nice feature. <clears throat> and it's all available to view uh, in the history and everything right in this main win window. Now, last but not least, I'm going to send myself a message real quick. And I'm going to show you how uh, within this new message system, if somebody copies and pastes a sales order number or a job queue is sent to you, or even a, a web URL, you can click on that within the message now and it will take you straight to that um, sales order or web URL or job queue. And I'm just going to demo that real quick. Go check out our website at http www.womackelectric.com and hit send. And you'll see that you got right here, it's got click to view web links. So I'm going to click on that and it will open that address in your default um, browser and take you straight to it. So you don't have to copy that and paste it. Um, in older versions of uh, Solar or E-Term, you could hit Alt-V if you knew about that shortcut and it will take you there. Um, but now it's nice and simple, straightforward right there in front of you. And uh, same thing with reports. So if you have a report sent to you, you can click on the, the link right there. If it's highlighted in blue, and it'll take you straight to your report. And that about does it for the new message system. Thank you.